do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. W work hard like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the, the thing I would I would say, if, if you particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and I mean, if you do the simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as uh, the other company. If, if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to. Uh, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so, depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So, do everything you can to to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Constantly seek criticism. A well, a well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. Um, and you should seek that from everyone you can, but particularly your friends. Um, usually your friends know what's wrong, but they don't want to tell you because they don't want to hurt you. Um, so. Yeah. yeah. So they, you know, they say, "Oh, I want to encourage my friends, so I'm, going to t I'm not going to tell him what I think is wrong with this product." Yeah. It doesn't mean your friends are right, uh, but very often they are right, um, and you at least want to listen very carefully to what they say. And to everyone, you're looking for basically. You should take the approach that that you're wrong. Um, you know that, that that you, the entrepreneur, are wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. It's, it's don't, don't just follow the trend. So um, you may have heard me say it to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the physics approach, the first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things um, like quantum mechanics. So it's really a powerful, powerful method. And, and then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is now is the time to take risk.